So uh, a lot of talk about labels these days, you know, sexuality, uh, which is weird to me because I'm Generation X. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, you were either gay, straight, or prince. <laughs> Those were your options, that was it. <laughs> My last name is Dimkowski, it's Polish. I'm actually half Polish and half Italian. Uh, which means I love pizza, but I eat the crust first. <laughs> Can't help it. I grew up not exactly white trash, more like white recycling. <laughs> yeah, still garbage, just cleaner. <laughs> Better teeth, you know? My dad taught me about a lot of things. Relationships, he said marriage is the first step to divorce. <laughs> I was six when we first had that conversation. <laughs> most, of my, most of my friends growing up were raised Catholic. I was raised curmudgeon. <laughs> which is Catholic minus the molestation, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta pick a label, right? These days, and I, by today's terms, I'm a cisgender, heteronormative, pansexual, sometimes demisexual, sometimes sapiosexual, polyamorous dude. In other words, a dude. <laughs> I like to label myself because deep down inside, we're all the same. Yes. Like every hetero dude here is just a meth addiction away from sucking a dick. <laughs> I don't like to label myself politically either because I think it shuts down dialogue and we need to talk. So I don't say if I'm Democrat or Republican, I say I'm socially liberal, but my all-time favorite song is by Kid Rock. <laughs> now that's bipartisanship right there. <laughs> what, I offended all the musicians in the room now? <laughs> Can't win, I tell you. Can't win. Another thing about me is I'm hard of hearing. Uh, I was born that way. I wear hearing aids. Uh, being hard of hearing, the only disability you outgrow. Okay, not the hearing part, but the way the world treats you. Because I was a little kid running around with hearing aids too big for my head. First of all, I was so cute. <laughs> Just wanna make sure that gets on the record there. But they treated me special. Sat me in front of the class. I was a gifted child. Now I'm just middle-aged. No one cares. Just like every other idiot that blasted music in their headphones for 40 years, who walks around saying what all the time. <laughs> yeah, you know, because every family's got one. Yeah, TV's turned up to 100. <laughs> Nobody in the house can hear. Everybody's yelling, right? Now, obviously, I'm not totally deaf. I'm deaf light. <laughs> That's my rap name. <laughs> My name is... What? <laughs> My name is... <laughs> My name is... Still can't hear you. <laughs> Deaf Light. <laughs> okay, it needs the right producer. Uh -huh. I get you. Uh, I think all people with disabilities should be treated equally amongst ourselves. I don't see why I shouldn't be able to get the handicapped spot. What, your disability's better than mine? You got fibromyalgia, can't walk a couple extra feet? Come on. By the way, fibromyalgia, like the gluten allergy of disabilities. A lot of people think they have it, but... Do they? These are jokes, people. I don't want the fibromyalgia community coming after me. My career can't handle that right now. All I'm saying is it seems kind of arbitrary where they draw the line, 
Like, there's a guy in my gym that parks in the handicap spot, and he's perfectly able-bodied. Like, you should see this guy's workout. Kettlebell swings, <laughs> box jumps. Finally, I ask his trainer, a friend of mine, I'm like, what is that guy's disability? He's parked in the handicap spot. And he said, guy's HIV positive. And I said, I have AIDS. <laughs> 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 <laughs>